Hi. In this video, we're going to talk about how to overcome chronic pain. First, it's important to understand there are two kinds of pain. Acute pain, much like you'd experience from straining your finger, a physical injury, and chronic pain that persists after your injury is healed. Both kinds of pain involve a signal sent to the brain which triggers neural firing. But pain doesn't necessarily involve actual physical damage. You might heal from a physical injury, show no evidence of damage, yet still experience chronic pain. The key to overcoming this chronic pain is retraining the brain. And retraining the brain begins with understanding sensitization. Jerry Zhang and I built a model to help understand sensitization. You might recognize the thumb and fingers as we made a silicon cast of Jerry's hand to help us demonstrate. There are two sides to this model. One side measures signal levels from small and safe to large and dangerous. The other side measures pain levels from least to most intense, zero to 10. If a finger is overextended, for example, a signal travels via nerve fibers from the hand down to the spinal cord to the brain where the information gets processed. Neurons in the brain fire and experience a pain is created. This pain is considered acute. It's an immediate response. If signals are small and safe, there's little or no pain. If signals are large and dangerous, there's large pain. This is how it should be. Acute pain as, acts as an accurate response to your real danger. It's a protection. But what happens if there's a serious injury? Large signals from damaged tissue are processed by the brain to create intense pain. Then as the injury heals, signals decrease slowly, gradually, sometimes over days, weeks, even months. But notice, even after the injury has fully healed and there are only small safe signals, the pain level doesn't necessarily return to zero. This is because of sensitization. And what is sensitization? It's the brain's attempt at protecting the body by triggering an exaggerated response to signals. It's due to neuroplastic changes in the brain, which then create the ongoing experience of pain even after the body is healed. Many things can increase sensitization. Inactivity, fear, and anxiety, anger, or sadness, trauma. Things that increase your sense of danger can increase your sensitization and pain. The good news is there are well-known ways of decreasing sensitization of overcoming chronic unnecessary pain. You've already taken the first step by watching this video, learning, for example, that feeling pain doesn't necessarily indicate a dangerous physical injury. There are other ways. Education can decrease sensitization by teaching you that you can be sore but safe. You can have physical deformities without pain. Most people with bulging discs, for example, feel no pain. We've used the way out for education in chronic pain recovery studies here at UCSB. Biofeedback makes you aware of your body's current physiological state. It can decrease sensitization by training you how to calm yourself and avoid an escalating pain, fear, anxiety experience. We have used the Calm Stone for biofeedback in our studies. It effectively taught people how to reduce their pain and anxiety. Safe activity, like doing the dishes or taking a gentle walk with a friend can decrease sensitization by allowing your body to experience the sensations of movement in a safe way, a way that facilitates healing. We have used the Explain Pain Protectometer in our studies to teach safe activity. Visualization, like visualizing the pain in your brain shrinking, can decrease sensitization. 
we have used these images from neuroplastics for visualization. Therapy can decrease sensitization by helping you resolve stressors from your past or present life that contribute to your pain. We have used Unlearn Your Pain to help people identify stressors they can work on with or without a therapist. Once you have decreased your sensitization, pain works again as it should, as a reliable indication of your real danger, a protection. You can learn more about how to decrease your sensitization from videos on the YouTube Chronic Pain Science channel. This worked for me to overcome five years of chronic shoulder pain. It worked for my friends. It's worked for over 40 subjects who've been in our research studies here at UCSB. We hope it works for you too.